The Pro Football Hall of Fame in Canton, Ohio is the final resting place for the greatest players ever to have stepped onto the gridiron. It's the most exclusive of clubs, with membership being limited only to the most decorated athletes. In 1998, Chicago Bears middle linebacker Mike Singletary took his rightful place among the immortals of the game. In a career that spanned 12 years, Singletary amassed more than 1,300 tackles and earned 10 trips to the Pro Bowl. His playing days at Soldier Field have been over for quite a while now, but he still cherishes the days when he roamed the field sideline to sideline. A tremendous accomplishment, considering that for most of his career, he was considered too small to play at the highest level. It was amazing. It, it was, uh, I really can't put it into words. It, it was really uh, a phenomenal feeling to know that this is one of my goals. I, I felt tremendously blessed uh, to be able to have the opportunity to, to play in the NFL. Now in his late 50s, Singletary is happily retired, married to his longtime sweetheart, Kim, and an empty nester with all seven of his children now out of the house. The passion that drove him to be one of the best ever to play the game now fuels him to learn more about the head trauma that has plagued so many of his fellow competitors. As a spokesman for concussions at UT Southwestern, he's immersed himself in understanding the complexities of CTE and head trauma. For me, it was very natural um, as, as a former football player and a coach to look at uh, that situation and be able to give parents some kind of information. When they ask you, well, what about this whole concussion issue? Um, should I let my son play? So before I could really answer that question, I had to do more research. Guys, one of the first things we want to talk about in making a safe tackle is to make sure that you come to balance. The game has changed a lot. Uh, as a matter of fact, today, I, I think when, when I was playing, um, you know, I could see parents being afraid to let their kids play. I mean, it, it was all out. I mean, you could get a quarterback and slam him. You could take a running back and throw him out, out of bounds. I mean, there's a number of things you could do. Um, but today, they've done a lot of things to protect the player, particularly the quarterback and uh, receivers. As I'm working here, these blocks are coming Singletary is the only graduate of Baylor to be inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame and in recent years has spent time at his alma mater, giving back to the program that helped propel him to start him at the professional level. Unlike many of those that he competed with and against, he has not suffered any long-term effects from his days on the football field. That's due in large part to his understanding of how to use proper techniques. I don't think we're really looking at it uh, from a totality uh, standpoint in terms of what can we do overall. Um, if on the defensive side of the ball that I really, as a coach, really, really focus on and pay attention to the detail of tackling, not only am I going to lower my risk of, of having a head injury, but I'm also going to make it better for the guy that I'm tackling. Um, I'm not going to be so reckless and out of control. Uh, I'm going to be in, in good position, uh, my, my face is going to be up, uh, my neck is going to be in the right situation, my neck is going to be tucked in my shoulders, I'm going to make a good tackle, a safe tackle, and uh, the guy should get up and he should be in good shape. And that's the process. I'll do it a little bit faster.